Well, there are two awards left, and now's the moment where we have to hope for things to go right. Because one of the awards needs to be received by Skype. So I'm going to ask Stephanie, my colleague, to come up here and try to set this up. Uh, this award is the, 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 the major award we give, the Richard Dennis Award. Uh, so Stephanie's going to get about a moment here. You can have one minute to chat, and then I will be back up here in about one minute. This is a thank you to all of you for all the work you have been doing, continue to do, because you're going to end this insanity called the war on drugs. There is no such thing. As you know, I write music, and my song says, there is no war on drugs. There is a war on us. You're taking him away. OK. Yeah. Thank you so much. All the work you have done deserve a very special award to each and every one that has participated in this incredibly inspiring uh, conference, as are everyone that I have attended since the early 90s when we were DPF, and I was awarded by you with the Robert Randall Award. And I thank you all for being you, and either yes. action it up or enjoy it or whatever. I'm so sorry I can't take it back to New York with me. Thank you so much, Elvi. Thank you so much for all your work and your leadership. Okay, I think we have success here. I think we have success. I don't think we're going to have, please, but I need everybody to quiet down right now. Please, if anybody's talking next to you, ask them to be quiet right now. Thank you. This is the Richard Dennis Award. Before there was George Soros, there was Richard Dennis, the first philanthropist to step up in the late 1980s and say, I am going to put my money, in fact, I'm going to put millions of dollars behind ending the drug war. This guy helped launch Drug Policy Foundation. He was pivotal to making, putting this issue, you know, really out there in a time when it was the height of the drug war, and we named this award after Richard Dennis. The Global Commission on Drug Policy Right, which grew out of the Latin American Commission on Drug Policy created by Presidents Cardoso, former Presidents Cardoso of Brazil, Gaviria of Colombia, Zadillo of Mexico, a few years ago, and then expanded to include George Schultz and Paul Volcker, Richard Branson, uh, the uh, uh, former president of Switzerland, Ruth Dreyfus, the former, uh, the, the, actually the current prime minister at the time of Greece, George Papandreou, uh, uh, Kofi Annan joined this, a remarkable group of people. And the report that they put out two years ago that basically called for what we call for a DPA and ending the drug war, for legalizing marijuana, for harm reduction with the other drugs, for changing the whole way we do this, for breaking the taboo, on consideration of all alternatives, and they're continuing to commitment. They didn't just put out a report. The members of this commission have individually continued to lobby, to speak publicly, to call current presidents and others. And this has expanded now to include the former president of Portugal, uh, President Sarpaio, the former president of Chile, Lagos, the former president of Poland, and a host of others. One reason drug policy is changing in the world is not just because of the remarkable work of people at the level of civil society, but also because of those bold leaders and former leaders who are able and willing to commit time in their lives lives to make a difference. So first, first I'm going to see uh, Richard Branson. Are you on the line? I am. Can you hear me? I can. <laughs> and Richard, I think, is calling. I think he's in, in Kenya. So Richard, just for a minute or two, please say a few words. Thank you so much for being on. Uh, well, thank you very much. I'm actually uh, sitting in the Mara, and we just uh, saw seven lions chasing a water buffalo from, from, from my the deck of my tent, so uh, a, a, very different, a very different place from where you are at the moment. Um, but you must come one day. Um, anyway, no, just to say um, that, you know, thank you very much on behalf of the Global Drug Commission uh, for the award. Um, Pre President Cardozo formed the commission uh, two years ago to do a sort of fact-based uh, study on the war on drugs. And, um, and obviously over the last uh, two years, uh, it became very clear to the commission that the war on drugs was an abject failure and that, that there needed to be a new approach. And we've studied uh, what's gone on in other, other countries like Portugal, uh, where 
you know, for the last 12 years, not one person's been put in prison for any kind of drugs. Um, and it's worked, and, and, and people are... You know, pe pe people are, uh, 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 you know, nobody's gone to prison, and even with something like heroin, uh, they've managed to reduce the amount of heroin addicts by 70%, um, and, and, um, the, and the amount of, you know, spreading of HIV and hepatitis C is, uh, has reduced dramatically. So, um, anyway, just want to say, keep up, keep up the good work. We, we'd also like to congratulate and uh, thank the DPA for all, all the great work that you do and uh, we look forward to continuing to work together in the years to come. So thanks very much and thank, keep up the good work. Thanks so much, Richard. Pleasure. Now, I think, is George Papandreou on the line? Yes, I am. Well, yeah, I'll good tell you, from, uh, Athens. When, George, I'll tell you, when, when on this commission, there were a lot of former presidents on there, there was one guy who was still in office, a sitting prime minister, dealing with all the politics of being a sitting prime minister, and said, I'm still going to join the commission, and that was George Papandreou. So George, please share a, a few minutes with us, okay? Well, thank you. Thank you, Ethan. And uh, even during this major crisis in Greece, I felt that this was a, an opportunity to change our policy. I personally, um, as a young kid, volunteered uh, at a church in, in Toronto to work with kids using drugs, I realized that they were not the problem, that the organized crime was. When I became minister in, uh, of youth later on in the 80s, I realized prohibition would not work because we were even having drug, drug trafficking inside the jails. So I felt that uh, it was only helping organized crime and, 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 uh, and getting, getting kids into, into, into uh, and many people into a lot of trouble. So uh, the work that uh, our Global Commission has been doing, thank you very much for your support from the DPA. We've got some impressive people from Kofi Annan to Torvald Stoltenberg to, as you said, President Gavaria and, uh, and President Cardozo, and some dramatic shifts in drug policy around the world, from Portugal to uh, Uruguay, and also states in the US, such as in Colorado. Congratulations. Uh, When I was Prime Minister, I uh, proposed a radical new law on drugs, uh, and I, uh, I tabled a draft in the Parliament in 2011 for full decriminalization of drug use um, and um, removing cannabis from the criminal justice system uh, and uh, dealing with, with certain types of, uh, of, pe of penalties for drug, drug traffickers, but also uh, the right treatment for drug addicts, uh, which uh, completely changed the whole logic towards harm reduction, um, undercutting crime, and of course pandemics rather than jailing people. Uh, this draft, of course, uh, has passed in the watered-down version after I left, but uh, so there is still a room to be to change here in Greece, but we need to keep the work going, and uh, thank you very much, DPA, for all the support you've been giving, and uh, I'll be by your side, and uh, we will be by your side in working on this issue. Okay, George, thank you so much. And I think one more. Uh, Cesar Gaviria, are you there? Yes, I'm oh. here. Okay, well, this is the true firebrand on the commission. Cesar Gaviria was the president of Colombia. He was the head of the OAS. He has been the most persistent and relentless advocate in the Global Commission. So, President Gaviria, please just say a few words to us. Well, well first of all, of course, to uh, thank for the recognition, but to thank to you and uh, George Soros and Open Society and the Drug Policy Alliance for all the help we have received since five years ago that we created under the leadership of President Cardozo, the Global Commission for Latin America, Latin American uh, uh, Commission. It was an extraordinary uh, 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 work. We really got that in Latin America, we broke the taboo. And it was so important that in the last summit of the Americas, even with the President Obama in, uh, practically the, the main issue of that, of that meeting was drug uh, policy reform. And they asked for two reports. They were uh, presented a, a few months ago. It's very clear that the will in Latin America 
is to reform policy, to look for harm reduction, and to look for, in the case of, of, of marijuana, for a treatment similar to other kind of drugs like alcohol and cigarettes. We totally convinced of that. And, and uh, we are. Right. They couldn't see us. That's coffee and. Cesar, <laughs> if you can hear me, um, we can no longer hear you, but we caught the thrust of your message, so thank you ever, ever so much for being with us and for all your work. Bye. And I'd just like to ask Rebecca Laird to come up here. Rebecca is the Communications Director of the Global Commission based in Brazil. And Rebecca, I want to present this award to you to bring back to the Global Commission. Thank you and obrigada.